Welcome to webwatchworld.com. This is a look at the classic Vostok Amphibia Automatic. Please visit webwatchworld.com for the full review of this watch and many more. You're looking at a couple of very popular watches for collectors. These are the Vostok Amphibia or Amphibians. These two are sometimes called the Scuba Dude versions. The black one on the left is in a comfortable silicone strap, and the blue dude on the right is on a metal bracelet that unfortunately costs more than the entire watch. These are solid little watches and a great bargain. I'm going to show you how I set them. I use a Casio Wave Scepter as my time standard. It synchronizes every night to the NIST standard time in the U.S. The amphibias have a screw-down crown. Unscrew the crown and pull it out slightly and you can wind up the watch. It's a bit tricky. You have to first unscrew the crown and then pull just slightly out as you turn it to catch the gears inside. It seems kind of loose to new amphibia owners, but that's just the way it is. Kind of the charm of the watch, I guess. When the crown is pulled out all the way, the hands can be set. The watch doesn't hack, but if you put just a little bit of backwards pressure on the hands, the second's hand will usually stop, which allows the amphibia to be set pretty accurately. So see here, I'll just put a little backwards pressure, in this case it's a clockwise pressure, on the crown, and eventually the second hands will stop. Sometimes it takes almost a minute to stop, and some watches seem to only stop when the second's hand is at a particular location on the dial. So there it's ticking, and now the second's hand stops. So I'll wait until the second's hand on the Casio catches up, and then I'll start up the amphibia again by turning the hands forward. When I start it up again, sometimes the second hand jumps a little bit, as you can see, but it's pretty close to the Casio. Now that the second's hand is synchronized, I have to screw in the crown again, then back it out slightly and wind up the watch. Again, this is a bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's not a problem at all. Just don't pull too hard or the crown will go into the hand changing mode. I always start up my automatics by giving them a full wind first. It usually takes about 40 to 45 turns to get it fully charged. The 2416 movement in the amphibia has an overwind protection, so you can't really tell when it's fully charged because the crown will just keep moving. Once it's charged, the automatic winding system will take care of the rest, and if you wear it during the day, every day, it will pretty much stay charged. Now to set the hands. I usually wind them all the way around first until the date changes. To set the date on this watch, wind it past 1 o'clock or so after the date changes, then back to around 8 o'clock, then forward again and you can see the date flip over and it, as it changes. This works fine when you're within a few days, but if you have 30 days to go through, it's kind of a pain. Now let's check the Casio. The second's hands on both watches are pretty close, so when the second's hand on the Amphibia comes up to midnight, which would be 46 minutes past, I'll set the hands and I'm all set. My Amphibians are usually actually pretty accurate, and this one's running now very close to the Casio. This black scuba dude was set just yesterday, about 36 hours ago, and you can see it's running a little slow, about 8 seconds slow from the Casio, which is really actually pretty excellent, especially for a $54 watch. This black amphibian has a nice comfortable Hirsch silicone strap. It's very stretchy, as you can see. I have a metal bracelet on the blue amphibian that cost me $72, which is almost $20 more than the watch. This sailboat amphibian has a Toscana rubber strap, it's also very nice, and it's a bit thicker, and the blue matches the sailboat on the watch face. It has a deployant clasp, which works very nicely, actually. So there's a quick look at the famous and classic Vostok Amphibia watch. I hope you enjoyed it. Please visit webwatchworld.com for more information and for the detailed review of this watch. Thanks for watching.